Hello confetti club, it is Pixie and today I wanted to try something a little bit different for my channel and I wanted to do a tag! Um, you guys know, hopefully, that I have been doing a vlog every week, every Sunday. Um, well I vlog like one day out of the week and then I upload it on Sunday. And we have four cats, so in the vlogs they are very cat heavy and I've had a couple of people asking like what are your cats names how many cats do you have it looks like you have 30 cats let me give you the cat rundown so i wanted to do the furry friend tag today i've had a couple of people request this that will be freaking fun i can't believe it took me this long to do this tag so there are 10 questions and for each one i'm going to answer for each of the cats so technically you're gonna get 40 answers bud that's a bunch. I'm also obviously going to intercept cat footage. I'm standing on this wall in hopes that I will be able to show you each cat in my armsies, but right now there are none in my room to be seen. However, I will go kidnap them. The first question is, what is your pet's name? So for each of these, I'm gonna go in like chronological order of when we got them. So uh, we have four cats and their names are Nico, who's a boy, Moby, who's a boy, Serena, who's a baby girl, and then Quinn, who is also a baby boy. What kind of pet is it and what breed? So of course, they're all Meow Meows. They're all very good um, Meow Meow cats. Nico is a ragdoll cat. Uh, Moby is a Maine Coon. Serena is a British long hair. And oh my gosh, I wish British long hairs were more commonly known because they are the fluffiest things. Um, and then Quinny, we just got about a year ago. Uh, yeah, about a year ago this time we got him and he is a Siberian. So all of our cats are purebred, but this is because my mom is allergic. So yeah, the, the reason we got Nico at first was because he was a ragdoll and they're hypoallergenic. Actually, the reason we got him was because I was going through a bit of a rough patch and my mom was talking to one of her gal pals about it. And she was like, you know what would really help Jillian? A cat. And yeah, um, how many years later? Like five years later, we now have four cats. We've gotten a new cat every year and we probably should be stopped. But my mom has since kind of like become immune to it. So although we still have kept getting purebred cats because then we can be a lot more sure that my mom's not gonna have a reaction, even though some of our other cats, I don't think they're all like hypoallergenic. And I know that hypoallergenic cats aren't really hypoallergenic, but like my mom has had like deathly um, attacks from being around cats in the past. And now we live with four cats and we're fine. But even then, like sometimes she will go to another house or to like the animal shelter where we volunteer and like she will get all sneezy and stuff. So you just never know. Um, so yeah, the reason we all have all purebred cats is because it's just safer to make sure my mom doesn't die. <laughs> Number three is how long have you had your pet friend? So yeah, Nico was five years ago, I believe. Yeah, so five for Nico, four for Moby, three for Serena, and two for Quinny. No, it's about one for Quinny. Oh, I'm sorry, it's around there. I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly what age we got them all at, but they're like a happy little st st staircase. Of cat ages. How did you get your pet? For Nico, he was actually on a breeder that was on our island, so we just had to drive. It was like a 50 minute drive or so. Moby was also a breeder on PEI. Serena was a bit of a more exciting story, so we got in contact with this breeder in um, Nova Scotia, and she is so cool. Love you, Tammy, if you're watching. Tamkins Cattery, she is the absolute sweetest, and so so she had a litter of precious little British long hair meow meows and I was so excited to get a baby girl, a gal pal, and we could do girl stuff, we could paint her nails and gossip and read gossip magazines but not actually because she is a cat. But so we actually agreed to meet halfway. So yeah, Tammy and Serena, <laughs> Tammy and the meow meow drove and we met halfway in Truro at my grandparents house. Um, and we met her, and I can probably insert some pictures of the first time we met her, and it was just the sweetest thing ever. And I think the reason that Serena kind of favors me, and I feel, I feel like a, a bitch for saying that, but, um, 
Like, she, she only loves me. <laughs> she's my best friend and she's scared of everyone else. And I think a lot of that is because, like, I connected with her a lot at the start and then I sat in the back seat of our car with her the whole ride home. It was about three hour, two hour drive, probably a three hour drive. And um, I took my sweater, my old Dream V pink <laughs> fluffy ass, lazy ass cardigan and I like padded the cup holder with it. It's like a square cup holder, probably for snacks. It's about that big probably and I, I like lined it with my sweater and then she crawled right in the cup holder and she stayed in the cup holder the entire ride home so I think a lot of the reason why Serena is like my bestest friend is because of like how we kind of bonded at first and how she like slept in my cardigan that was covered in my scent. Quinny, we actually flew in from Ottawa because um, there are no Siberian breeders like remotely close. So it was only like a three hour plane ride. They are completely safe. Actually, it might've been less than that. Um, they just like put him in a happy little carrier with other pets and he arrived and we met him at the airport and it was wonderful. And yeah, he is a soft boy. I don't know where Moby just went. Moby, what are you doing, bud? How old is your pet? So Nico's five. Moby is turning four on New Year's Eve is his birthday. Serena must be three, but Quinny's only like, Quinny must be almost two because we got him a year ago and you can't adopt them until they're like a certain age. So yeah, five, four, three, two. What is your favorite memory with your pet? <sighs> That's hard. My favorite Nico memory. This is kind of sad. It's incredibly sad actually. It was the worst day of my whole life. And I don't know if this is morbid, but probably the day that we found out that he got through the surgery and that he didn't die and that he was gonna be with us for the rest of his life instead of dead that morning was probably the happiest day of my life especially since we got him because of um like what i was going through and we basically got him to be an emotional support animal moby just pulled a sailor moon box on top of him are you okay but it was just a huge relief to know that he was okay because it was basically i did a whole video on it about how nico almost died basically he ate a piece of foam and it got stuck in his tummy and i did a whole video on it and you can watch that i'll put it up here up here up here i'll put it in one of these i can do that right can i do that it was incredibly sad and it was the hardest thing i've ever gone through i was like if this cat dies i'm going I don't care. I don't want to be alive without this cat. Like, it, we, oh my god. It was hard. Anyway, so my happiest moment with Nico was realizing that he wasn't gonna die. My happiest moment with Moby, who's being very funny right now. Mob. I am a big boy. This is Moby. And he is a big boy. He is our main coon and he's turning four years old. He is a sweet boy. He is large. He is three and a half feet tall and about 17 18 pounds and i've held him in videos before and it's like my favorite thing where people are like are you a tiny person or is your cat a huge cat and i'm like well i'm five feet tall and he's three and a half feet tall so like both oh what's my happiest moment with moby oh that's a hard one i just love him just every day can I say that for everyone? Happiest moment was Serena. Oh, I don't know. See, we've had so many dramatic, like, situations with Nico, like, especially around the time where, when he was dying, um, and, um, like, he hid in our house and we couldn't find him, and the whole family was up, running around the house, crying, yelling, shaking things, moving things, looking absolutely everywhere, because when cats are sick and dying, they go and they, like, hide to go hide away and die. And so I think he was somewhere in our furnace room. Anyway, I actually ended up finding him. He was just, like, sauntering out after looking for I don't know how many hours, probably three, like, not, like, seven hours, but, like, my family. And then I came downstairs and I saw him walking out and I just like fell to my knees and screamed. I was like, I found him, I found him, I found him. And you just hold him and you're like, oh. I just like 
sobbed into his fucking soft fur. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have any other like happiest moments. I just have a lot of incredibly dramatic Nico moments. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? <laughs> I hope I can insert some videos. So all of our cats are fucking weird. <laughs> so Nico likes to be walked in the stroller aggressively. People think, people probably think that it's weird or that it's something that we're pushing on our cats, but no, I have video. <laughs> okay, he is in his napping corner, his super secret nap corner all the way down there. I want to see if he is willing to sacrifice his nap for the stroller. <laughs> see, it's all the way down here and he'll sit in it and meow at us from there. Nico boy! There he is. Hi. Do you want to go for a walk? Want to go for a walk, bud? To the stroller. Good boy. Good boy. The best boy. This is real time. Real time footage. Who's a good boy? We are actually going to walk you because he's been meowing quite a bit. He will sit in it and meow like yell meow from the bottom of the stairs he will just sit in the stroller and be like meow, meow. and we're like bud we can walk we built a whole catio we just renovated our whole deck to be like a cat enclosed space they can enter and leave whenever they want and he still sits in the stroller and meows for us moby is just huge and silly he's humongous Probably the funniest thing about Moby is that he's like, he's big enough to kill a human, but is like the softest, gentlest giant ever and is terrified of the vacuum. Like we can't vacuum. We can't pull the vacuum out of the closet. We can't like open the door to the closet without him like <laughs> freaking out or like getting skittish or running away. If he sees the vacuum, it could just be sitting there and he'll be like duh, 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 duh. like he's a spooky boy but it's funny because he's huge and like he's like a big tiger but he's scared of the vacuum it's not funny it's kind of sad but it's also like bud you know what the vacuum does like you're gonna be okay nina loves pizza all nina cares about is eating pizza is this a pizza pizza is this a pizza pizza? Hey, hey, hey! Is this a pizza pizza? Is pizza your favorite? Is pizza your favorite? Hey, is this a pizza pizza? <laughs> she loves pepperoni and pizza a lot. And she's like, touch, touch. And she doesn't do this with other food. It's only pizza or like pieces of pepperoni. Is this a pizza pizza? Hey! <laughs> Is this a piece of pizza? Did you put that in your dish? Did, did you take the pizza and put it in your dish? Nina! She took my pizza crust and then, and then Nina! You pizza chomper! You pizza chomper! Is that good? It's just a crust. Nina, Bina, my freaking queena. It's ridiculous. I would go to school with a freaking cold ass leftover pizza slice in a Ziploc bag to high school. And I would like sometimes bring two slices and only eat one and then come back and I would just like have the pizza in my backpack for a little bit before I put it back in the freaking fridge. Guess what? If you leave it in there for like more than two seconds with the zip unzipped, your cat's gonna come. She's gonna take out the Ziploc bag in her chompers. She's gonna take the whole thing. It's as tall as her. Her little feet, as she runs with this pizza in her mouth, are like kicking the Ziploc bag because it's dragging on the floor because she's so small and cute. But all she wants is the pizza. She will take the pizza in the Ziploc bag. She will run across the room to where she can eat it in peace. She will hide. She will rip through the bag. She will eat the pizza. It is amazing. I love her. 
it's only pizza or like pepperoni or cheese sometimes my dad's like cheesy snacks at the end of the day she will lick the bowl she's never puked in front of us she's the only cat we have never seen puke so we're like okay she loves it so much and she never gets sick and she's really healthy so like you can eat the pizza i guess what <laughs> that and she started eating my used crest white strips this is disgusting and i'm sorry but i've had to start like hiding them i have to take the garbage can in which i dispose of my used ass crest white strips and i put them in the bathroom so i can close the goddamn door so she can't go pull them out of the garbage and eat my used crest white strips it's so gross it's so gross i have watched her chew and swallow and i'm like that's plastic you're gonna die can you stop <sighs> i'm going to die young <laughs> from stressing out over my cats eating things that are going to kill them. I promise we're good cat parents, but like sometimes you just can't squeeze it out their freaking mouth close enough. Quirky things about Quinn. I don't know. He's just the snuggliest. He's just like, he's the most lap cat. See, Serena is a lap cat, but only to me. Like she won't snuggle with anyone else, but me in my bed every night, she's like, <laughs> But Quinn is everyone's favorite lap boy. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Well, Nico basically like saved me from myself. Moby, I didn't really get along with at first. <laughs> Sounds like a roommate. But then we really bonded and I love him so much and now he's my favorite boy. Um, not actually, he's my favorite Moby boy. Serena, right now at this point in my life is really, really freakishly important to me because um she's gonna be coming with me when i move in um a little bit under a year's time and i'm really really scared and really not ready to move at all um emotionally so it'll be good to have her with me she's my little best friend and again the only reason my mom agreed to let her come with me is because she loves me so much and no one else so it's like if i moved and she stayed here she would be like so sad and she doesn't really hang out with the other cats or really bond with the other cats. So it's not like she's gonna miss them. And I will very likely get a second cat once I'm living on my own for a little bit. So yeah, Serena, I have like cried into Serena's fur a fair amount recently, just being scared to move out. But then knowing that I'll have my little best friend with me and that like, you know, at least I won't be alone. Even if I don't have like a roommate roommate and I do have to live alone, I will still have my sweet Serena Bina to eat my used crest white strips and my pizza <laughs> with me. I love her. And she snuggles me every night and like scream meows at me and I love her. And Quinn, see I'm at the stage with Quinn right now that I was at Moby at the start. I don't really get along with Quinn. What are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Nico? I like to walk him around the block in the stroller. <laughs> Moby, I like to sit on the catio with him while he chases leaves and is a big fluffy boy. Um, Serena, snuggle time in bed always, every night, every morning. And Quinn and I don't have anything. He also doesn't really meow, so I feel like I'm not that close with him because we've never like talked, but like I'm losing my mind. He's a cat. Okay, the last one is the one I'm most excited for because I have planned for it. And the last question is what are nicknames you call your pet? <laughs> are you ready for this? For Serena, we have Nina, Bina, Panini, <laughs> Neener, Nina Bina, Sub Nina Beaner. Neenest of beans, cloud cat, soft girl, and cotton ball. Nico, we have Nico Biko. Again, sub Nico Biko chicken frigo, such as winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> Neeker, beaker, sneaky neeky, <laughs> cheeky neeky, chocolate cat, I call him a lot, or chocolate boy, and then triangle boy. Again, oh yeah, Nico's the one I have on my arm. I probably should have brought that up earlier, but I have Nico tattooed on my arm because I love him so much. Moby, we have Moby Boby, are you sensing a theme? Mobers, big gray boy, Moby Wan Kenobi. <laughs> this is mostly my dad, and Mobish Mobs. Quinny, we only have a couple. Again, I feel like it goes like from most to least in order of how long we've had them, but Quinn is Quinny. Quinner Quinner Chicken Dinner 
is my personal nickname for him. Fall friend Kenzie actually came up with when she visited and little golden boy is probably what my mom and dad call him the most. I hope this wasn't super boring, but I mean it was requested and I love my cats and I love talking about them. I hope I have enough cat footage to splice in so it's not just me standing here being a crazy cat lady, but I love you guys so so much. I'm gonna find a featured confetti mem. This video is featured confetti club member <laughs> doing a lunch here because I'm standing. This video is featured confetti club member is milk gob on Instagram. This pic is a beauty. Rocking the throat kindness around like confetti tea with some pink effing jeans and the why are you, what are they called? Sky high Cosmo or whatever? The why are you cloudy shoes that are really beautiful. You're rocking it. You're adorable. Pink background. Look at you go. You're a model. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys so, so much. You know how to be a featured confetti club member by now. Tag me on Instagram. I love you a lot. I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one is over. Bye.